what's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So I figured since 3D Basecamp was last week, I could do a quick update talking about um, how the week went. Um, I'm not going to get too far into my experience, but we're more going to focus on what the announcements were from SketchUp, other things like that, as well as giving an update on what happened with my competition with Aaron and the SketchUp YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first off, I kind of took the week off a little bit last week. Um, I didn't really do a whole lot of documenting or getting a bunch of video or pictures or anything like that. If you are looking for those things, I did want to highlight my friend Joseph's channel. Um, he usually does a pretty good vlog style update on what happened in Basecamp. So he's got kind of an initial intro video on his channel already, as well as a chat that he did with Aaron with SketchUp. So if you do want to check out that chat, and I'm sure he's going to have more stuff coming because he was doing a great job of taking photo and video all week. So I'm sure that sure there's going to be more coming out in the future. You can check out his channel, which I will link to in the notes down below. Okay, so first off, if you've ever had a chance to go to a base camp, you know that they are a ton of fun. I mean, it's really awesome getting to hang out with like a thousand people that are all there with the same interest group, right? So everyone is there being interested in learning how to create amazing things with SketchUp. So there's absolute beginner courses, there's um, very advanced things going on all week, as well as new feature announcements and releases from SketchUp. So um, there's this thread on the SketchUp forum where people are kind of posting some pictures, but you can kind of get an idea of what that experience is like. Um, I would love to see you live at the next base camp if you didn't make it to this one. All right, so besides all the cool people and just hanging out and talking about SketchUp, one of the reasons that I like going to base camps is because that's where SketchUp talks about what features they're focusing on and their new releases. So I want to do just a little quick bit talking about the, the things that SketchUp was focused on from a feature standpoint. So first, obviously with SketchUp for iPad, they've been doing a huge push towards SketchUp for iPad over the last few months. They've put a lot of time and development into it, and it's really kind of the feature that they highlighted the most in their keynote, um, which again, I understand because they put a lot of time into. I am considering doing more SketchUp for iPad tutorials, but I've been thinking about possibly breaking those off onto their own channel, um, just because I think when you come to this channel right here, you're really looking for SketchUp Pro type stuff, and I don't want to like dilute that with a different kind of thing. So leave a comment below, let me know what you think about that. So obviously SketchUp for iPad was a big push. So the other new feature and release that SketchUp is focusing on is they've released the beta version of the creator that you can use to create live components. If you remember, live components are the new components that you can use inside of SketchUp that allow you to adjust things like lengths and widths and other things like that. Um, so basically, we've been waiting a while now for the actual tool that you can use in order to create these, and Tremble has now released that in beta. And so you can check this out by going to creator tremble.com and um, you can actually use this tool in order to start creating live components. And so basically the way this works, and I'm not going to get in depth in this video, we are going to get a little bit more in depth in the future video, is you can basically use nodes in order to create this object. So if you ever seen like geometry nodes um, in Blender or Grasshopper, or uh, if you've ever used Houdini, this is going to be somewhat similar. And so basically what you do is you, you use nodes in order to create parametric objects. This is a lot more powerful than what we can currently do with dy dynamic components, but you can use this to create things like uh, the shade structure, for example, that automatically fills in the supports. Um, you can adjust the width, other things like that. So there are tutorials on the right hand side of the page over here here that you can follow along with um, in order to get started and start learning how these work. We'll discuss this more in depth, but I think this is a really interesting possibility for creating more powerful things inside of SketchUp. So I was excited to see this come out. I think a lot of us have been waiting for this for a long time. So um, go ahead and start playing around with it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. All right, so now what I'm sure you've all been waiting for is the final update on how the competition with the official SketchUp YouTube channel turned out. So if you remember, I was in a competition with the SketchUp YouTube channel. I was trying to pass them in subscribers before Basecamp. Now, I knew it was going to be a stretch when I put it out there, and unfortunately, I was correct. And after the dust settled, I didn't even get close. Now, that being said, I'm happy with the way things turned out. Thank you to everyone that watched those videos and subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. The whole thing was obviously all in good fun. So I even won an award 
from SketchUp. Now, the problem is this award was given out at the final lunch at base camp, and I had to leave early to catch my flight. So I have no clue what the award was about other than what was on the screen said the nerve on this guy. So I'm going to have to ask Aaron what exactly the award was about and what I missed. Now, that being said, I'm sure the official SketchUp YouTube channel thinks the competition is over, but between you and me, there's a bigger target out there, which is the 500,000 subscribers, which we're going to be pushing towards really hard over the next year. So I've got a couple ideas, um, a couple of things that I'm going to be working on. Um, I'd love to get your feedback on this as well. So first off, um, feedback is really mixed on shorts. I'm going to be trying to create some shorts, but I'm going to try to make sure that they're really value packed. So I want to highlight some of the best features from different extensions, some of the best extensions and some of the best tips for SketchUp. So if you do see a short from me, hopefully it's going to be something that's going to be really valuable. That's going to be kind of interspersed with my other content, but we're going to try it out and see how that goes. I'd love to get feedback on those because they're a little bit different than the regularly scheduled stuff. So second off, and this is something I'm considering, but I haven't made this move yet. I'm considering breaking off SketchUp free and SketchUp for iPad on their own channels, only because generally speaking, when you come to my channel right now, I think you're kind of more looking for that SketchUp Pro type content. And those are just different kinds of tutorials. It's kind of fractured a little bit from a product standpoint. So I may be breaking those off onto their own channels so I can provide resources for those while also still providing um, what you're looking for here on this channel. I'm also going to be doing some really in-depth stuff with, an, with extensions coming up in the next few months. So keep an eye out for those. We're going to check out some really cool things. I always walk away from Basecamp really inspired um, as to what you can do with extensions. And I'm really passionate about making sure that people know what's out there so that they can uh, make sure to incorporate those in their workflows. All right, so that's kind of my long-winded explanation of what happened at Basecamp. Thank you to everyone I met that came up and talked to me. It's always a really weird experience going somewhere where a lot of people actually know who I am. So for those of you that came up and said hi, I appreciate it. Uh, it was great to talk to you. So for all of the cool creators and extension developers I hung out with last week, it was really great to hang out with you in person, Yanni, Dale, Joseph. There, there were a ton of you, but really enjoyed hanging out with you. So that's it for now. Um, tomorrow, probably, we're going to talk a little bit more about Tremble Creator. So excited to have you there for that. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.